There is no benchmark for gratitude. Like, I will be grateful when... dot dot dot. Because that, that goalpost will always be shifting. It's sort of like the, the thought, I will be content when, or, or I will be happy when. Um, that's an ever-shifting target. Gratitude is something that you, you experience right now. It's a, a frame of mind with which you look at life. Now, it's an interesting thing to consider because I think it's a natural temptation for us to think that there will be some point, some benchmark in the future where we will be grateful, where we will be happy, where we will be content. The Israelites may have thought this too. The Israelites, back in the time of Moses, had been delivered from the Egyptians. That was a great victory that God had won for them. They had wandered in the desert for a long time. Now they had gotten closer to the, the promised land that God was going to lead them into eventually. Uh, but they, they got to this, this place called Edom, which was located to the east of the, the Jordan River and the Dead Sea there. And the, the king of Edom would not let the Israelites pass through Edom. And so they had to go around uh, Edom. Their, their plans had changed. And this caused the Israelites to, to grumble about everything that had happened. And because they were grumbling about this change of plans and what that meant for everyone there, they grumbled against the Lord and they seemed to forget all of the other ways that the Lord had blessed them. The fact that the Lord sustained their life by providing food and water for them. They didn't like the food and the water the Lord was providing, but he did provide for them, sustain their life. He had worked a great miracle to, to save them from the Egyptians and the hard slavery that they would have been enduring in Egypt. They were free from that, and yet they were forgetting all of the blessings of the Lord, and they were grumbling and complaining against him. The section from Numbers, chapter 21, starting at verse 4, says this, They, the Israelites, traveled from Mount Hor along the route to the Red Sea to go around Edom, but that's because they couldn't go through Edom. But the people grew impatient on the way. They spoke against God and against Moses and said, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the desert? There is no bread, there is no water, and we detest this miserable food. Can you think about all the different ways that you get hung up with everything that's going wrong right now? All the different problems that come into your life, they, they seem to consume your attention and they seem to, to take your spirit with them. And gratitude is, is a tough thing when you are focusing on all of the, the problems and all the things that are going wrong. And when your focus is on those, you, you tend to forget about all of the things that, that God has been doing to bless you in your life. That there are so many blessings that you can give thanks for. God's not okay with ingratitude. And he shows that to the Israelites here. It says, Then the Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people, and many Israelites died. This was God's wrath against ingratitude. He is equally as upset with ingratitude today. But the story goes on. The people came to Moses and said, we sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. This judgment that, that God had sent on them, this punishment through these snakes, had led the Israelites to repent of their sins, to realize that they had been, they had lacked graciousness towards God. They had lacked their thankfulness towards God. And, and so they repented of that and asked, Moses to, to talk to the Lord and, and to provide some way to save them from this punishment. So Moses prayed and the Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then anyone who was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake lived. Such an interesting section. 
that God would use the, the very animal that bit the people, that caused the, 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 the deaths there, he would use that same animal as a symbol that would save the people from that, that snake bite. A little bit later in, in the Gospel of John, Jesus would use this picture as, as, as a symbol of what Jesus would do. That just as the bronze snake was lifted up in the desert, so the Son of Man would also be lifted up. That, that this terrible crucifixion that Jesus would, would suffer uh, would save all people. That anyone who looked to Jesus for saving, anyone who believed in him, would be saved. That's what Jesus says in John chapter 3. And that's the reason Jesus came into the world. So that all people could be saved through him. If you believe in him, you will not perish, but you will have eternal life. You know, whatever's going on in life, whatever physical things are going right or going wrong in your life, you always have that gospel to fall back on. So a Christian really has every reason to be grateful all the time. And make sure that, that you, you focus on Jesus on the cross for you, uh, because that will help you be grateful in every aspect of your life, no matter what circumstance you find yourself.